find the point on a y-axis which is equidistant from 5 minus 2 minus 3 2 so let me first find where is this point a you don't need to plot it but we'll just to explain it to you I'll plot it 5 minus 2 will be here and minus 3 2 minus 3 2 will be here so I have this point say this is a which is 5 minus 2 and I have a point B here which is minus 3 2 I need to find a point anywhere on the y-axis the point could be anywhere on the y-axis I don't know where the point is but it should be equidistant from these two points so I'll take any point from the y-axis and you know for a point on the y it need not be here I repeat again we will change it after we solve we will put say P but because P lies on the y-axis I know my point is 0 y why have I taken the 0 y because if P lies on the y-axis its coordinate the x coordinate is 0 we learned that last year so the coordinates of P will be 0 y so I go over it again here this is my point P let's make a neater thing so P is 0 y and you know why it is 0 y because it lies on the y axis and my other point was one was here one was here one was say this was a and the a was we know 5 minus 2 and the b was minus 3 2 and it was equidistant the points were equidistant which means now this distance pb will be equal to p a these two distances are equal so let us start on with first finding what is p a to find p a we know p is 0 y and your b is minus 3 2 so x1 0 x2 minus 3 and then we have y1 y and y2 2 so the pa formula under root x1 minus x2 the whole square plus you have y1 minus y2 the whole square and if we work this out how PA will be under root x1 minus x2 so 0 minus of minus 3 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 y1 minus y2 and that is y1 minus y2 the whole square now we square on both the sides so we have PA square equal to minus of minus 3 will be plus 3 the whole square uh, plus y minus 2 the whole square now I need to remove this root sign because I have squared right so this is my now PA now I'm going to find my PB to find PB I must know P which is 0 y and the, and the I'm finding okay this is what my what we found was PB not PA so I'm just writing it out again this is PB so this was PB square now we go ahead and find PA so we need to rub this out and we need to find PA now our P is 0 Y and the A is 5 minus 2 so X1 0 X2 5 and then we have y1 y y2 minus 2 now formula for pa under root x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square so pa will be equal to x1 minus x2 x1 minus x2 that is 0 minus 5 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 y this is y1 and this is y2 minus of minus 2 the whole square 
we go ahead so the PA now is equal to 0 minus is minus 5 the whole square plus minus of minus y plus 2 the whole square so under root and if I square it I get PA square equal to this is 25 plus y plus 2 the whole square in my next step so this is my PA PA square in my next step I'm going to do PA equal to PB because that is what is given to me. So again we continue from the last slide. PA equal to PB and I open the bracket now. This is 25. A plus B the whole square. A square 2AB plus B square equal to 9. And this is Y minus 2 the whole square. Y square minus 4Y plus 4. Uh, the Y square, Y square will cut out and plus 4 plus 4 will cut out now we'll put things together here so you have 4y the minus 4y will come here plus 4y equal to 9 this will be here minus 25 so your 8y will be equal to 16 minus 16 y will be minus 16 over 8 and your y will be minus 2 Remember your point P was taken as 0, Y. So 0 because it lied on the Y axis and on the Y we found out minus 2. So let's go back to our slide. The point is 0, minus 2. So now we found out that our point P was 0, minus 2. So 0, minus 2, let's mark. So we got to rub this out. It's not here. So 0 minus 2 is here. So this was a point P. This was point P here. This was P. It was 0 minus 2. And I think the distance, this distance and this distance are equal. PA equal to PB.